Go in that room, set her on the floor. Plant Pet Hood's reputation for affordable pet care has spread far beyond the neighborhood. Are both legs broken? No. We took her to the local vet and he did x-rays and everything and her bone socket is shattered. Gina has driven all night from Iowa to try and save her puppy's leg. They suggested amputation, but I didn't want to, you know, do that. And, uh, and they called me back from this place. I'm praying they can fix her. She's only 12 weeks old. It's OK, Ray. It's OK. We live in the country, in the middle of nowhere, and a car happened to be coming flying down the hill. Howdy, I'm Dr. B. I had a chance to take a look at the x-rays. I don't want to take her leg if we don't have to. Here's the thing, is I think we can try to get this fixed, and she gets to keep the leg. But I do need to talk with Dr. Jeff, you know, make sure that he thinks that he can pull this off. OK. Dr. Jeff and I need to put our heads together and see what we can come up with, because that fracture is going to be a problem. She's wonderful. She's the most beautiful dog we have ever had. And I'm doing everything I can to give her the best quality of life I can give her. I don't feel right amputating it without exhausting all my options. Jeff's back from the festival in time to look at Rhea's x-rays. So a three-month-old uh, lab puppy hit by a car. You can see the top of the fracture. This should be sitting right in there. Basically, the cap's been pulled off. That's not going to be an easy one to fix. And then we have this view of the tibial fracture. The vet in her hometown wasn't willing to take that on. We'll try to put an IM pin in and cast it, but this is a really bad break. So this is a ball and socket joint, and it sits in the, in the hip socket. This one's actually cracked. Basically, this leg has gone up and it's sitting way up here. It's moved up and kind of into the butt area. So we're going to go up there, make this nice and smooth, take this out in here, push this leg back down, and basically suture it in more or less in the right area. The tibia is broken, too. It happens to be on the same leg. So we're just going to put an IM pin in here and put a cast on this. This should be healed up in four to six weeks easily. So. Man, that's some massive bruising. That thing's way up. Ball and socket joint, ball's gone. So this part's just floating up here. You want to get it back down close to where it belongs, because it wants to come out. Is it when it breaks, it comes out and moves up. And the problem is, the muscle has just been ripped through here. I mean, this is major trauma. This is all black and blue. It's a lot bigger than it looked on x-ray. Yep. That whole cap's gone. Can't find that piece of broken bone in there. Dr. Jeff is struggling to find the detached head of the femur. The hell is this thing at? OK. I got, uh, it's just puppy cartilage. Oh. It just wants to tear apart. Can I get that thing out? So down in there, broken deep in the, yeah, the ligament still attaches to the problem. Yeah, it just keeps falling apart on me. Yeah. So close, so far. If Dr. Jeff can't remove the broken femur head, he may not be able to save Rhea's leg. I do not like this. It's just really soft. I mean, I'm trying to pull it out, it's like it's not like real bone. Yeah, it just keeps falling apart on me. Yeah. Cartilage doesn't show up on that x-ray very well. And so you're looking at the x-ray, you think, oh, you know, it's just the cap that's in there. Well, it wasn't. Cutting muscle, oh, that's it. I got the head of the femur out. We're going to throw it away, and we're going to create a scar tissue joint. I will rest down the socket part a little bit to make it flat. But in the end, it just falls in with scar tissue. And these animals do extraordinary well. Feels like it's where it should be right now. The end of the femur, there's not much left of it. So this is a major trauma. Well, at least it's out. Tibia is next. Mm, that's pretty good. Dr. Jeff moves on to Rhea's fractured shin bone. All right, take the other end. I'm going to pull this back, and then you're going to align it. 
a metal pin will provide stability and support for the fractured bones to heal. That's about where it should be, so that feels pretty good. Can somebody give us a uh, bone clamp, please? That, that's it, perfect. That's moving smoothly. Okay, if you can give me a betadine flush here, I can close this and we're done. We got it done and it should still be a functional leg. Put an IM pin in, we got really good alignment. In two weeks, that'll be mostly healed, quite frankly. You know, in four weeks, it'll be 100% healed, more than likely. She is a puppy, and it's amazing how fast they use the legs. She appears that she's doing great. Five days after surgery to repair her broken leg, Ray is nearly ready to go home. Vet tech Shelly has just one last task. You hungry? I'm gonna hand her her pills to make sure she does get her pain medication. She knows there's something in here that she doesn't want. She just got the, uh, uh, the bitterness of one of the pills. Oh, no, I can't see. Thank you. The wounds that I can see on her right leg, they look really good. I think she just wants to be held at one's love right now, which is fine by me. Raya is ready to go home to Iowa with her owner, Gina. Yeah, yeah. There's no restriction on, on the hip part. You know, we just don't want her clunking that cast a whole lot. I just worry about her being in pain. This is a young dog. It's a Labrador. Their pain tolerance is pretty darn high, you know. Okay. Hey, sweetie. She pretty medicated? No. She's not? No. She's, she's okay. got, we'll give her some pain meds and stuff. <laughs> So, yeah. Hi. Bottom leg, we got an IM pin in, a cast on that, and any of these spots here, they're going to heal. Okay. She has some scrapes and stuff. Okay. She's a lucky girl. Yes, very lucky. Oh, we're so thankful. Oh. Thankful well, for you. I don't know. No problem. Well, just... glad, glad to do it. I'm going to go find Me your too. medication because you should okay. already got the. I want to make sure you get all that before you go okay. home. Okay. So, Thank you so much. Wasn't... No problem. Hey. Dr. Jeff, he was, he was great. She had two different breaks and he fixed them both. It means everything. She's like one of my kids and just glad that he could save her leg, you know? Although she would be perfect with three legs, but I mean, she's, she's extra special and everything worked out for the best. So this place saved my dog.